Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Rooster and you're kicking it up here with me as we're playing some Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga. Now we're here on a crazy planet where the cloners are, where it all started stemming out to crazy shenanigans throughout the galaxy. I've left timestamps down below for anything that you might be missing. And I always, there's stuff hiding at the back of the video in case you want to stick along with me until the end. Now, without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Kick the intro. Well, we're at Camino. And the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a good look at our Django. Now, when we're here with Django, we first drop out of our ship. We're going to hit to the left side of the platform. You're gonna use your grapple and you're gonna grapple yourself right along. And that's the very first one, guys. The next one, we're gonna run in. We're gonna to stay to the high side. We're still using Django and he's gonna pop that off. And we're gonna flip over to our Obi-Wan Kenobi that looks like a little bit like Jesus. We're gonna stack the boxes up, and then we're gonna flip over to our CP 3PO, smash that thing in half, drop down, boom, that opens the door. Now, find your legs. Oh. Hopefully your legs aren't by someone when they wanna talk. Oh, we need C 3PO, open it up, buddy. Oh. So we got this C R two D two looking unit. Smash everything up. Use him to open the door from the inside. Just spin that around till you find the right. By now, you guys should be awesome at it. There you go. The door's open. We're gonna let him go through. Now split in half. Put your body on one half. Your feet on the other. There you go. Now this one takes place right after the one we just got. This Lama Su comes walking in, talking about wanting to clone some crazy mamba jamas. So guess what? We're gonna do it. Suit up, we're flying out. Yep, ain't got no time for anything. Let's go. We're gonna head over to Yavin 4. You want to stick to the outside of the uh, temple. You're going to find some little green check knees over top of people. And he's telling us it's back this way some more. So we're going to continue. We're, all, we're just outdoors, just running around. It's all good. All right, so there's this blue woolly mammer. I shoot him out of the tree. Get out of the tree, monkey. Oh. Collect them, wrap them, trap them, and let's send them back to the park. Now that we're back, let's just chat to this fine, gentle person for a moment. It's going to be like, oh, sweet. You guys are so awesome. Thank you. We've just unlocked Llama Suit. Now, if you continue down the hallway, you're going to take your final left. You'll find a room. That's right. We're going to switch. Hang on. Switch. We need. There we go. We need our Han Solo because he knows how to understand Wookiees. Make sure we're collecting every single one of these wandering Wookiees. Now. Let's make a beeline down the strip. Smash a pot. All right, we need the disc. So we need to go for an adventure together. So I'm checking on the thing. I see it's gotta be down the road here. Oh. Make sure you talk with everybody when you have a chance. It's uh, pretty great. They give us a lot of details and they'll give us extra 
quests. This looks like... Nope, that's a power cell. I have a feeling that that may come in handy later on. Stay tuned. Now, we've ducked down this alley. We're in like a middle room. Some tables. It's just sitting right on the table. Can't miss it. Pick it up. Let's run it back. Hard left. Straight through the cloning facility. Insert it. Side slide. You got yourself. Now, it seems this one is not too too hard. You just come here. You're going to need some type of stormtrooper. I'm using uh, a droid. The sergeant. I thought his vest was very nice. There you go. It's hidden in the corner. Now the crate job, this one, what you want to do is you're going to come down and you're going to find this room and it's going to look like it's some kind of like Star Trek-y thing. Use your Jedi or your force sensitive character, pick the box up and then ram the box into all the, oh, on the dots, easy. Ah, oh, there we go. Three seconds left. Woo. That was a little bit close. <laughs> there you guys go. How delightful. Now, right parallel to the one we just finished oh, is a targeting challenge. I got Jenga. We're going to go blast it up. Get ready. Take our shots and see what we got to do. Like I said, if you don't hit it the first time, just keep going back. They're fairly simple. Okay, so this is like one of those duck duck goose things, but with stormtroopers or clone troopers. Boom, 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 boom. Headshots is what we want. You tag them in the head and they turn around. I'm trying to find a spot where we can just tag as many as we can as they go up and down. Don't worry. Uh, get you, get you, get you. Oh, trying to run away from me, I see him. Huh? You get more points for the guys at the higher ends. So you get 200 for the guys in the back row and you get 100 for the guys first row and the middle row is 150. But I beat it. So I believe in you guys. Go nail it. Let me know down in the comments what your score was. Now, following this line, you're gonna see this weird Plinko thing. Sometimes Talk to this gentle coming. creature in the corner. He will tell you what the game's about. You want to use the force. As you see, I practice. It's just left and right. What you want to do is have whatever the ball or whatnot drops down. So power it up. Okay. You get four shots to drop two balls in. So you want can oh see. So what I want to do is. Angle it there, so it bounces out there. Now the next one, we're gonna do, we're gonna let it roll when it comes out. Let it hit there, boom. See how that was? So you can tell, it's just slightly, you want it to kind of bounce. It's not like the old ones where they go tick, 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 it just slides right in. There you go. Lop them and drop them. All right, tied down. As you can see, we are following. It, it's a big circle shape. So we're going back over here. Now, if you've been following along, we've been in this room before because there's a power cell over there. But what we need to do is get the crystal that's hit down below brought up. So let's talk to this fine, gentle creature. Him and his long neck, like half giraffe. So you're going to click on whatever one you want open, then off. And he's gonna walk, he'll drop down. We wanna open that door, double flip over so he doesn't fall, flip back to the circle, 
Back to square. Down to the triangle. Now, if he falls down and you miss it and he doesn't fall into the hole right at first time, don't worry about it. Just try again. It's all good. Core experience. Now, I see it there, but look what's right beside it. That tells me that this is a decoy. This is just a trickery little hole that they've put up there. We need the power source. We know where the power source is because we were just there. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you got this. Spin it around and bring it back for us. And there you go. It's just that simple. Now we've darted down the road. I destroyed that for no reason. We're going to hang a lefty and go down into this little room. This is a character collecting. Now, for whatever reason, this guy needs somebody to I'm get I'm working as quickly as I one of the Caminos back to here. I am actually a renowned... I tried to explain the situation. This guy is actually a Jedi. The Camino you're looking for goes by the name of... Who Brian knew? Day, or at least that's what they he looks about. very much like one of the Caminos. I don't know what's going on. He's got some crazy stuff going on. So we're off to Coruscant. We're going to the Jedi Temple when you get there. So it's drop off, hang a left, get to the first taxi, and you're heading off to the Jedi Temple. As we get to the Jedi Temple, you're going to find one of these green targeted guys. Talk to him. He'll give you the rundown. Say that somebody's been acting a little off. Master Proof has been acting off. And right there, underneath the statue. What are you doing? Why are you telling children? Yeah, he's totally messing up. Yodel Roof. So he's darted. I'm going to... Talk to the children. He thinks he's their imposters. So we're after him. We're on the gig. He starts yelling, like, don't take me. Uh, I don't want to go back there. Yeah. I don't want none of your lies. Take him out. Grab your bounty hunter. Collect your bounty and send him back. When we get back there, we'll have a little so, chit chat with our friend here. And, oh, how I will relish and we've just collected ourselves another Jedi. Where we're heading off next is just down the hall. I know all the halls look the same. When you come in, you'll see the balloons. We're actually in his room. So we're trying to get the door open. I just shoot stuff in that other room because I just wanted to make sure we didn't need anything or we weren't missing anything. Pop the fridge open. There's a button. But if you get off the button, the door closes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my other companion, Obi-Wan. Snap the shower open. Go get cleaned up. Because we just got ourselves another brick. At the end of the hall, you're going to find an R2 N3 unit. He's green. Obi-Wan can talk with droids. He needs our help. Apparently, he has an urgent message. And we got to hand it out. So we've seen this guy before. Where have we seen him before? All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run down and talk with everybody that has a little green thing over their head. I probably shouldn't have. And it'll narrow the window down. But I can give you the heads up. He's in the game room where we were. If you've been paying attention and listening to the other ones, 
He's in that Plinko room. That's right. He's in the games room having some time off. I believe the individual you seek can be found in that Cloners, day. right? Like, get me right. So just chase him down there. Be like, dude, we got a special meat, a special thing for you. And he'll be like, oh, sweet. Ah, oh, I'm finally going to do something awesome with my life. No, there's just barf on the floor somewhere and he needs to go clean it up. Once a janitor, always a janitor. Now, upstairs, on the top level, is their, I want to say cafeteria. So there's two things in the cafeteria. One is really quick. We're going to go over here in the corner. Guess what? It's a gold box. Gold boxes are straight up bounty hunter food. Go get it. We're still on the top deck in the cafeteria. Just run over. It's the simplest one you're ever going to grab. You just push the button and it pops it out. That simple. I love collecting fresh. The look at all that fresh food bait up there, guys. It's pretty yummy. Now we're heading down to the basement. There's only one spot to go down. You can find it. Hit the staircase. Head on down. We're going down to talk to these Clunas because they are trying to clone force sensitive beings by using and talking with Obi-Wan Kenobi. So these are the little things we have to do now. So let's grab Obi. As quickly as you can, guide it through the... If you touch the sides, it's not a big deal. And then drop it out, swing it around. All right, we got one. Now the second one it's just down here. So one, two, hop. Skip, top. Now, you have 12 seconds. You gotta punch all the red dots. You can do it. Now, use the force to guide it right over to the ledge. As you see, it doesn't go any further. Don't fall. Okay. Apparently that's just an open hole right to the water. Don't worry. You only lose some monies. Now, jump in there and grab your reward. Isn't this fancy? The force reward. Now, let's sprint back upstairs. We're just down the hall from where we were. One of our favorite green tattooed face Jedi. She's amazing. But we're looking for the teenage mutant ninja Wooly Mammers. Mammer Dammers. Okay. They have the heads of those weird ape looking things that we caught earlier with stormtrooper or clone bodies. So you can't run too far ahead of Rastala. Because if you do, she uh, won't come back, won't walk with you. So just got to stay like, let her lead the way. I've switched over to Jenga so I can just shoot people from a distance down the halls. It's a lot faster and a lot easier. Now, if you shoot the red bricks, make sure that none of your people are beside it. She makes a better door than a window. Boom. Nailed you. You're hiding on the staircase? I got gotcha. you. All right, so there's more upset. This one's got a flamethrower, guys. This one's straight up bad ass, okay? But guess what? There's a way to get around that. Hit those red bricks, blows them all up. Two shots, you're done. Unlocking Jedi's all day long on this planet. Namaste. Now, this one is half the time heroics. So what we're going to do is you're going to run down to this door here. You're going to need your C-3PO unit, break him in half. Because the only way to open the door is to have him go through. Now, he cannot open the door unless he has his legs back. So 
You can clip the legs and bring them back to connect if you choose. But we can just bypass that, punch all these bricks, cables, chairs, knock them out of the way, push the button, it will stay open, and collect it yourself. C-3PO all day. Now, down the hall, you can see the red bricks. We're gonna hang a right. Down here, you see the R2 and 3 unit. We're hanging another right. This is where three awesome pieces are gonna be. Grab your unit, grapple up, and you'll collect it because it's just above the door when you walk out. Now, the one of the researchers are sitting out on this landing pad. Okay, we are trying to get the young Boba Fett. Now, I have Commander Cody and I have Jenga. And we got to take this flying mofo out of the air. So you jump on the can, but it doesn't do a 360 spin. So what you want to do is you want to try to have one guy on each side. And as if every time I turn around, there it is. Shoot his wing. Now, it takes it down pretty good if you can stay on it. I don't know why he's right. Okay, get it, Cody. But what Django wants to do is run over to where Cody is every single time, and I hate that. I wish they would just get stay in your. Sh now, as it flies behind and out of range, switch over. You have to keep jumping in and out, but that's okay. It is a lot faster and easier than trying to do it freestyle, like just shooting at it. We're getting seven. And it does rapid attacks. Like, look at that. Look at all those sevens. Now, just to play the devil's advocate, I'm showing that shooting it with your gun is hitting it at six, sometimes seven, depending on if you get like a headshot. Yeah. On, under the wing is only five. Yeah, you have a little bit more control. And it might take you a little bit longer. As long as you don't stand in its way when it dives in at you. You'll be fine. But let's just get over there. Jingle. Do what you're told. Okay, Cody. Now, for the love of... Oh, you guys are killing me here. See, we should have just stuck with the pattern that we had going before. Just keep shooting it. Damn it, Jenga. Stay in your spot. Stay in your lane. Okay, so once it shoots it, he drops down. He's all concussed. You know, he's probably going to have to see somebody about that because concussions are a real problem that are facing the youths of today. But now we have the young Boba Fett. So the last one is right here on the edge of the platform we've been at. There's a ship down at the bottom. OK, now to our left is the easiest path to get down. If you want to be a rogue, you want to go down the right side and do some crazy ninja flips and stuff and try to grab the rope, you do that. And if you do, leave a message down below in the comments and let me know that you were able to do that. Because I will tip my hat to you, sir. So I use my grapple to the second one, grapple to the bottom. Then we A, jump back on top. A, jump to the second one. And then we jump to the final platform. And this final platform is... Jenga fits ship slave one woo and we just got the achievement for getting all of it completed thank you now we're heading up to space to space it ain't crazy man so here is one of these beautiful uh, kyber bricks comets we need it because it gives us five and five is better than one that's just simple math so when you first come into the orbit around the planet, if you see a comet, make sure you take it out. Now this next one is we're heading off because we see one of the little Lego head shape guys. I don't know. We're going to try to find a character. He's up in the space. We just got our Kyber brick comet. Let's get this guy. Let's do it. All right. We're cool. It's going to be another one of these extended missions to set us up to go to the next planet is what they want. They always want us hopping 
from planet to planet, and when we do some on the planet, going different spots. It's just the way it is. It's about exploring and spreading you out. So we're heading off. Let's go. So every time we go into here, apparently the bad guys are the only ones that have the technology to knock us out of hyperspace. Maybe the good guys have it. I don't know. If you know down in the comments from in the lore, maybe part of Legends or something, I only remember reading one part about it. And I believe it had to do with, well, I guess it isn't canon. The new Thrawn books has it where they were pulling people out and sealing their cargo. The pirates. Thrawn took care of it because Thrawn's a badass. Hence, he's probably one of the top villains in Star Wars. And you can leave a comment down below and disagree with me if you want, but you'd be wrong 100%. So after our first encounter, we kill about six to 10 um, bounty hunter, criminal, pirate guy and the guys, and then you keep on keeping on, all right? We keep getting warnings, they pull us up, and they always pull us out in an asteroid field. It's like, you realize how dangerous that is, right guys? You're gonna die. So we got another 10. We're doing smuggle work. I'm in an X-Wing. It's crazy. So uncivilized. I do like the ships that they're using. I know you can't get a good glimpse of them because they're dying before they get too close to me. <laughs> but I believe... Oh, I'm not... You know what? I'm not going to start naming off ships in Star Wars because nine times out of ten, um, if it's not in the canon or whatnot, I might even actually pronounce the name wrong. But I believe it was a different version of what the Millennium Falcon looked like. Uh, the Emini Hawk, for all your KOTOR fans, I believe it looks, it has that kind of similar look. Someone down below, let me know in the comments if you know the exact type of ship. I think it's a freighter. YT, YT freighter made on Carillion in the shipyards. I don't know. I'm just saying, maybe you know. I don't know. Maybe you know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know. Let's let's communicate. Let's talk some Star Wars Lego smack or whatnot. It's all good. So you have to do three jumps and then you finally make it. He's way down there. Just punch it as hard as you can. Stay away from that battle because I do not want to deal with that. Those battles are all over the place. They suck you right in. Nice work. We're in desperate need of these supplies. We got all the salt we can ever need down there, but people have been really griping for other condiments. So is this guy's just saying like, oh, thank you so much. Without you, we could never have done it. You're so awesome. I know. I know. Now we got a first order stormtrooper. Now. Rampage run. You need to do them all to get one of the achievements. So I'm putting it in. This one's on Camino. Now we're going to get 5,000 for doing it. Whew. Wish me luck. We need to get 21. Whoa. Okay. So we're not driving through these. These are targets. All right. Maybe they should have called it Rampage targets, not run. All right. The great thing about this is you can keep a distance. Shoot. Eat. What are we at? 15. 15. Up and above. Okay. 16. 17. 18. Last couple. Three seconds. That was close. I think there is only 21. But that's it. Well, everybody, that's 100%. That's all of our ships, our characters, our Kyber bricks everything we need on Camino. So thank you very much. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and let me know how you're doing in it, what ships you're using for those crazy ship space stuff we have to do. And like always, keep on gaming and bring some rage.